At Green Man Brewery, staff describe the process of creating beer as quite simple. All you need is a combination of water, barley, hops and yeast. And it's smaller operations, such as Green Man, that are benefiting from a renewed interest in microbrewery products. You know, when I grew up, we had, uh, you know, two breweries making pretty ordinary product. Now you've got dozens and dozens of breweries making dozens of types of beer. Uh, you hear a huge explosion. It's fantastic. The brewing plant has been in operation for nine years and last year produced 40,000 litres. Lindsay says it's not a glamorous job, but staff remain focused on quality product. We um, have a sustainable focus where we, we reuse bottles. Uh, we have organic products in our beer. It's a bit of a nice green theme. Uh, but first and foremost, we're here to make beer. He says it's the boutique breweries working on a small scale that are creating the so-called craft beers. Uh, we don't have uh, great big vats and it's not all push of a button technology. It's, it's very much hands-on. So each batch is different because you're doing things by hand and uh, it is a craft because uh, there's, there's a skill involved. Green Man will be showcasing some of its more daring flavours at this weekend's Dunedin Craft Beer and Food Festival. Those brave enough will be able to sample some tequila beer and hot chilli beer. And for the less daring palates, a raspberry pale ale and a black cherry beer will be on tap. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.